friends, it's me, Miss Macy. I'm so excited that we get to play, learn, and explore today. Today's learning adventure is going to be, drum roll, outer space. Woo! This is gonna be so much fun. Are you excited? You are, me too. Let's get started. What is an astronaut? An astronaut is a person who is trained to travel in a spacecraft in outer space. Let's learn our planets together. Ready? Let's go! The first planet that's closest to the sun is Mercury. The planet after Mercury is Venus. After Venus, we have our home planet, Earth. After Earth, we have Mars. After Mars, we have Jupiter. After Jupiter, there's Saturn. After Saturn, there's Uranus. After Uranus, we have Neptune. Yay, those were so good. You guys did amazing. So those are our planets we have in our solar system. Great job, you guys. You guys did so good. Hi, friends. Let's do our galactic alphabet together. Ready? Let's go. A. A. A is for astronaut. B. B. B is for black hole. C. C. C is for comet. D. D. D is for double star. E. E. E is for Earth. F. F. F is for falling star. G. G. G is for galaxy. H. H. H is for half moon. I. I. I is for the International Space Station. J. J. J is for Jupiter. K. K. K is for Kuiper Belt. L. L. L is for liftoff. M. M. M is for Mars. N. N. N is for Neptune. O. O. O is for Orion's belt. P. P. P is for Pluto. Q. Q. Q is for quasar. R. R. R is for rocket. S. S is for Saturn. T. T. T is for telescope. U. U. U is for Uranus. B. B. B is for 
Venus. W. W. W is for white dwarf. X. X. X is for X-ray telescope. Y. Y. Y is for yellow dwarf. Z. Z. Z is for Zenith. Good job, you guys. You did amazing. Thank you so much for doing the galactic alphabet with me. I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys. Hi, friends. I want you to meet my friend, Astronaut Alan. Astronaut Alan, I see that you're in a space suit. Where's your rocket ship? What? It broke into a million pieces. Oh, not a million pieces. You need help putting it back together? We can help you, right friends? Yeah, we can help you. Let's go find your spaceship. Let's go. Here's astronaut Alan's spaceship. We need to put it back together. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go here and here and here. Is that right? No, that's not right, is it? Let's try that again. Um, this goes on the bottom and this goes on there with this one here, that one there, and this one here. There we go. That's right. It's not. That's not right. Let's try one more time. Okay. So let's see. We'll put this one here and this one here. This one there and that one here. <gasps> and that one there. We did it! How many pieces are there? One, two, three, four, five! There are five pieces to our spaceship. That's silly, Alan. Okay, let's go show Alan. Hi, astronaut Alan. We fixed your spaceship for you, me and my friends. You're very welcome. He says, thank you. Should we put astronaut Alan in his spaceship? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. He is in. <gasps> Ooh. Let's count to five down to blast off. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Bye, Astronaut Alan. I'll see you next time. Let's count the stars together. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six stars. Yay! Good job, you guys. You guys did so good. I'm so proud of you. Eight Little Planets. Words by Chris Berry. Pictures by Lizzie Doyle. Eight little planets going round the sun. Could these planets be having so much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at its center. Does each one wish it were a little better? Old slow Neptune looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry.
I see Uranus seems really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on its one side. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth little planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. Big stormy Jupiter looks weighed down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down. Now with so many friendly moons around, Dry red Mars looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountains of any planet here. Pale blue Earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It's quite proud to be the most dense. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune. It must get lonely without any moons. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. Eight little planets with the sun at its center. Proud to be unique. Nothing could be better. Eight little planets going around the sun being happy what they are and ready for some fun. The end. Moon. 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 Stars. 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 Planets. Planets. The letter P in sign language around your arm. Planets. Sun. 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 What are some words that rhyme with moon? Hmm. Moon. How about spoon? Or balloon? or noon.
Those are three words that rhyme with moon. Good job, you guys. So good. I'm so proud of you. Can you think of any other words? Hmm. How about baboon? Or tune? Hmm. Or soon. <laughs> Good job. That was so funny. Let's do a pattern together. Moon, star, moon, star, moon. What comes next? Yeah. Star! Good job, you guys! So good! I'm so proud of you! Alright, that's the end of our adventure today! Let's give each other a big round of applause! Good job, everyone! Everyone did so good today! I cannot wait for our next adventure! I'll see you guys next time! Bye!